designing your spider sona suit it's hard because you want to design a suit that looks good but you also want it to look different and unique to you but how can you avoid making a bad design and falling into the pitfalls that marvel constantly makes with their own spider-man design that's simple listen to me because i'm always right about everything and things would be much better if i was in charge today I'll be showing off fan designs sent to me by the lovely people in my Discord, which you can join through the link in my description, and I'll be carefully dissecting and critiquing each suit and putting a spotlight on the suit and discussing a core tenet of Spider-Man design that the suit either does well or ignores. And a lot of you aren't subscribed, so if you like Spider-Man content and just general nerdy content, please, please subscribe. I need more money so I can visit my girlfriend more often. All right, hello everyone, we're gonna get started. We have a very, very long list of suits here. I'm gonna try my hardest not to waste your time with a 30 minute video, and I'm gonna summarize my thoughts on each suit very quickly. All right, let's go. Obviously, yes, this is a classic Spider-Man design. What do I think about it? I honestly like it, it's simple. It's not trying to break the boundaries, but it's also trying to subtly convey simplicity, and I like that. There's some slight innovation in the back logo, which I really enjoy, and I think it looks good. It doesn't overstep its boundaries, and it doesn't undersell itself. I think it's a good design. It's simple, and I like the webs, just not even trying to be webs. They're just like flannel lines. I like that. It's simple. It feels like Peter threw it together really quickly, as he probably would. All right, this next one. This one is supposed to be an evolution of the previous one, and a lot of the times when you have like a Spider-Man design that's supposed to be the upgraded classic one, it's just insanely complicated for no reason. And I feel like this suit kind of patches that hole. Yeah, the back logo is a little complicated. I don't know how I feel about it not being divided at the legs, but I like it. I like the blue fingers and I like the way that the back logo crosses onto the front and it still has those subtle web lines on it. If there's one thing I would fix, again, is I'd make the web pattern tighter. I also like the use of indigo blue. Alright, so uh, this design is a bit of an example of being too inspired. I'm going to go over it very quickly because again, we don't have a lot of time. This design has a lot of features from other Spider-Man designs when I really wish this design would take time to make up its own. For example, you have the red fingers, you have the Ben Riley half boots, and you also have the web cape. I think this design was way too inspired and I think it maybe needs to take a little bit of time to think about what would naturally work into the design instead of, ooh, I like this from this costume. I'm gonna put it in. I think if you are going to implement features from other costumes, you should very carefully study what makes those features work on that costume. Like, what makes the half boots work on Ben Riley? What makes the red fingers work on Miles? What makes the web cape work on 2099? Uh, I also think the color balancing on this costume is a bit off, uh, and I feel like the belt should be removed. I feel like there's not enough red there to justify its existence, especially with the way it's done with the sort of shading into the black. This one, this suit suffers from an issue that I see often with fan designs and it's sort of thickness and consistency. Uh, I feel like this, before I go on to that, I feel like this zigzag sort of shoulder thing here, I feel like that's something that's up to taste. I mean, I could see it working on a Miles design due to the, you know, electro powers, but I don't know if it necessarily works for a Peter one, and I'm not a big fan of it. But anyway, let's go down to the thickness and consistency. Now, if you're going to implement thicker elements into a spider suit, it needs to be consistent. So, you see these rims here? These rims are thick. These are the thick rims shown here. But now when you go over to the logo, the logo has a noticeably thin spider, which kind of throws you off. And then you go over to the eyes, and the eyes also fluctuate in thickness, which is a little odd. I feel like the best thing for this design would maybe to would maybe to be streamlining the sort of thickness levels and finding an equal ground. Uh, but other than that, it's the classic suit. This is another design that I feel like suffers from the previous itch issue, which is, ooh, I like this design from another design. And I'm going to throw it onto mine and not really worry about whether it works naturally in the design. 
design or not. I also feel like this suit could maybe benefit from breaking away from the classic design fully. Uh, I don't like the boots. I feel like the boots don't really make sense. I feel like they would make sense if the hands were the same way the boots are, where like the blue is on sort of the front of the forearm, but that's not the case, so I feel like this design would already be much easier on the eyes if it was given the boots, because see, this looks like it makes a lot more sense to me, more than this. Of course, this is this seems to be this person one of this person's first designs. I do think it there's a lot that can be improved. For example, I think the back logo sort of fading into this intersection of white on the back at the sort of top of the red and blue here doesn't really work too well. It's all sort of confusing, and a lot of it sort of rams its way into the design, and I don't feel like it's naturally worked in. I feel like breaking away from the classic format a lot more than just the boots could really help this suit. I feel like this design... I wanted to include this design because I wanted to make a commentary on something I've noticed about a lot of superhero costumes. I dub it the superhero costume color rule, which is you have your primary color, your secondary color, and then you have your accents. For example, you have Superman here. Let me move that. You have Superman here. Superman's primary color is blue, his secondary colors are red, and his accents are yellow, like his belt and the inside of his logo. Batman's primary color is blue, his secondary color is gray, and his accents are yellow. And then you have Spider-Man. His primary color is red, his secondaries are blue, and his accents are black. But then you move back to the original design, and it's sort of hard to tell what the main color is. Is it green? If it was green, it would probably be on the boots, but it's not, because the boots are pink. This design's very confusing, and I think the number one thing a superhero design shouldn't be is outwardly confusing. This design is pretty rad. I absolutely have no problems with it. It's obviously very much based off of my own Spider-Man design, but that one looks very much like the classic suit, so I can't really even blame it. It looks great from the front. I really love it. But then, this is the problem. I talked about in the previous video with logo synergy. You look at this front logo, it's very angular, it's very pointy, and then you move on to the back and it has a rounded, it has a rounded, sort of goofy looking spider logo. I think this suit is great, the only thing I would change about it is giving it a back logo that better fits the design. I feel like this is another one of those suits that greatly suffers from logo synergy. You need logo synergy. It's very important to making a good design. This suit is good. Um, there's a lot of things that I feel conflicted about it. I don't know if it's the quality of the artwork, but I definitely feel like this could be an official Spider-Man suit. Um, I think that either the logo needs to be made purple, or the rims of the eyes and the fingers need to be made blue. There's a, I think this design works because it's obviously just a really well color swapped classic suit but I think these things could be swapped out for just a better color palette. And I think maybe I'd like it a little more, but again, this might just be a personal taste thing for me, and it could be an A in someone else's book. So I like this design, but me personally, I would switch the colors around. I've ranted about this suit for like five minutes to try to find out what makes sense about it. I just ended up cutting it out. This suit just confuses me. It like just feels like an old timey sort of Spider-Man Ren Fair suit. And that's cool. If that's the feel it was going for, I like that it's a Ren Fair spider suit, but it just confuses me. Like, I can't make what's up with this design. And but you know what? I just It's cool, but it confuses my brain. It's cool. It just doesn't make sense to me. But good on this person. I I hope they're happy with it, because they should be, because they've befuddled me. This suit is a great example of a redesign. My biggest problem with the Spider-Man 2099 suit is that it doesn't fucking look like Spider-Man. I remember reading a comic where Spider-Man 2099 jumps out from a portal and someone was like, Spider-Man? And I'm like, that is not fucking Spider-Man. That is skull on his chest man with weird eyes and a cape. Okay? This. This is how you make Spider-Man of the future. It's kept a lot of basic elements from the original design, and it's made them more spidery. And I also like that it looks a little more comic booky, like it's got the Superman boots. I love that. That's so cute. 
This is a great design, a great redesign. It's amazing, I love it. It was done by my boy Madison Wallcrawler, great work. This costume suffers from what a lot of the previous ones do, and that's being a little bit too afraid to break from the classic design so much that when you keep a lot of these classic design elements and put in your own, it's a little off-putting. Like, for example, this weird short thing. I feel like this design choice would have been much better on a suit that doesn't already look so much like the classic Spider-Man outfit. It's weird. I feel like if you changed up the format a lot more, you would probably have better results with the shorts. I would also recommend changing the colors of the eyes to red. Now, I don't want to pick any favorites, but this design here is probably my favorite that I've seen in the video. It's a hard choice, but I saw this design and I was like, mmm, I like it. I like the black. I like the sort of sleek red that runs along the arms. I don't know how I feel about the converse, that's probably my only thing about the design that I don't like. But other than that, I love this suit. Like this suit is so cool, I don't know what it is that I You know what, I know what it is that I like about it, it's simple. It's simple, and it's sleek, and it's cool, and I like it. I would consider removing the back logo and maybe adding a more Secret War style back logo. But other than that. This design is cool, and I like it, and I can't, I can't exactly nail what I like about it, but I like the sort of sleekness of it. This design is great. This is another one of those designs that I think all comes down to taste. A lot of people complain about when uh, Spider-Man suits break up the red with segmenting. I'm personally, I don't mind it as long as it's very little. But when you do it to this degree, some people might not like it. Again, I don't personally find a problem with it as a design choice, so if you want to put segments in your Spider-Man design, do it. But just be aware a lot of people don't like it. If you like it, do it. If you don't, don't do it. But this is just the classic Spider-Man design with a couple of changes, so it's going to be good no matter what. Alright, so this is another one of those suits that I'm going to use to illustrate a problem I have with a lot of Spider-Man designs. This suit is cool. I definitely like it. I feel like there could be a little more white on the legs, but other than that I don't think the design of this suit can be anything I can genuinely tear apart because I feel like whether you like it or not goes up to taste. But if there's one thing I can tell you that is not so good about this design. It's the logo. I don't like the logo for one reason, and it's that it doesn't look like a spider. Trigger warning, I'm about to put up a picture of a spider. This is a spider, and this is a Spider-Man logo. You can very clearly tell that these two are shaped extremely similar. In fact, this spider looks so much like a spider that you can tell it's a spider without the picture of the spider next to it. This logo doesn't really look like a spider, and I'm even going to give it the benefit of the doubt and show the real thing. Like, if I gave you no context and showed you this, you might not guess that it's a spider, and that's my problem, is that the spider logo doesn't look like a spider. It looks like a devil. I don't know. It just doesn't look like a spider to me, and that's the problem. I like this suit. I've always thought that added web cartridges to the belt of Spider-Man's suit was a pretty good idea. I've always never minded it. Uh, other than that, it's just a classic suit with a couple of additions. There's, th there's another thing I want to talk about with this suit that I want to illustrate a point with. This back logo is clean. I don't like the one on the front. I think the one on the back does a lot better of a job of having the logos all facing downward and having one up. That's something you can do very rarely, and I think you have to pull it off well to do it. For example, the Alex Ross back logo. That one does a good job, and this one does a good job too. When you move over to the front, not so good. You see, the spider logos here bend upward a little bit to sort of give the back logo that's facing upwards a bit of a lift. This one on the front doesn't. It's the ones facing down are completely down, and the ones sticking upward stick so far upward that it's off-putting. I also feel like the suit doesn't show off the spider logo enough. I think it's too gray and it sort of gets lost in there. I think if you were to make it black, that would fix the problem, but it also kind of makes it worse. 
all in all, I just recommend you change the logo. I think the one on the back could work on the front. I think, again, this suit suffers from a similar issue with the superhero color rule one, and that it has way too much going on, and it's really easy to get confused. Like, for example, the elements of brown running throughout the suit are just kind of confusing. That might be gold, I'm not sure. The white is sort of thrown in there, and the red web patterning sort of feels tacked on for no reason. I think limiting your color palette for a superhero costume is a great idea, and I feel like this suit is another example of how limiting your color palette could work really well for making you more creative. This is a way that I think this suit could be improved by limiting the color palette. As you can see, I've limited the color palette to strictly purple, black, red, and gray. I also think the web pattern should continue on all the purple parts. But that's sort of my only gripe with this suit, is I feel like there's way too much going on. And I think the design would work much better if it was simplified. Again, think about it. All of the best superhero designs are extremely simple. And I think making this design more simple could do it a lot of wonder. This art was drawn by one of my favorite people who have ever sent me fan art, and that's Hey Hey You Day. I think that's his at. But they draw such wonderful art. They made me fall in love with my design for the streaming suit again, which I thought would be impossible. This is their redesign of the Oscorp suit, which honestly I like a lot more than mine. My only issue with it is it reminds me way too much of like a Japanese samurai armor spider-man suit like it gives me a samurai feel and i think that throws me off a bit but all in all i think this design works really well and i love it a whole bunch i have absolutely no problems with it and i think it does a great job here's another design sent by someone who sent one in earlier in the video and i'm gonna get straight into it i don't know how i feel about this much sort of outerwear and by that i mean like the metal parts like the web shooters the gauntlets and the knee pads, belt. I feel like this design could be greatly improved by making the outer items feel less tacked on. Uh, also again, notice how all the white is intersecting the red and the blue, but you go up to the lenses, there's no white separating the red from the black. I think this could be fixed by making the rims white. It makes the costume much more consistent with its design elements. And I think making the lenses just white would make it flow a lot better. Uh, I also removed the belt because the belt felt like it was being intercepted by the web cartridges belt. So I just got rid of it and let the belt on the outside serve as the belt for the whole costume. Other than that, I think that's all I would do to fix it. This is a design that I feel like adds more to the source material than it takes away. Like, adding red stripes to Miles' arms is something that I enjoy very much. I feel like it breaks up the red in a way that's... I feel like it breaks up a... I feel like it breaks up the black in a way that's much more natural. I also love the Miles love. I love Miles, and I, I want more. And the specifically the area they placed it in, the midway of the arm, was genius. It was absolutely a stroke of genius to make sure this was placed not near the front, not near the, 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 the bicep, but right in the middle of the arm and slanted it just a little bit for style. I love that. It's perfect. If there's one thing I would change about it, I would remove the thickness. I know it's supposed to be a web coming down from the spider, but the spider already has a web. I don't think it needs this super thick piece of webbing here. I wanted to add in this suit into the video because I wanted people to know that you very much can do something weird and zany for the classic suit. I thought this suit was really cool. I want to imagine this being pink, so I'm going to say it's pink. The purple, pink, and yellow color palette is one that's really cool. And despite the silliness of the colors, it still comes along as really sinister. I'd like to see a more detailed drawing of this costume, but I really like it. I like the design. It reminds me of the Tasm suit in a way that's really fun and familiar. And I like it. I like it. Alright, this is a design coming in from my friend Spider Nerd. I very much like it. 
Uh, there's not really much I can say about it. Uh, I do wish the white played more of a role in the costume. For example, I wish the web shooters were white and not gray. I feel like that would do a good job of paralleling the white on the boots here. My only problem is that the spider logo seems to have six legs. I don't like that. Never, ever, ever, ever make your spider logos have six legs. It annoys me. And if you ever do that, I will come to your house and give you another set of arms. So then you'll be, then you'll be six limbed. You'll have six limbs, bitch. Other than that, it's got good web pattern proportioning and it all looks good. This design was done by my friend Tough Cookie and I'm also currently making it for Spider-Man production. Uh, these gloves have been a pain in my ass so far. Uh, I like this design. It's, it's cutesy and I feel like it would work really good for a Spider-Man cartoon. I don't know how I feel about the lines on the blue, but I think that's mostly because I have to make them. Other than that, I quite enjoy the color choices that were picked out for this costume. The lighter webbing is very easy on the eyes, and I think the lighter pink and the sort of light indigo was a really good option. I also feel like if everything else was black, this costume wouldn't work as well. I think going with the white was a good choice. Other than that, I like it. I like the blue hands, and I like the blue feet. I very much like this design. This design is cool. I, I, I only have one problem with it. I just don't like the rounded belt. I think the rounded belt is weird, and despite it just being a classic suit, this is a change I feel like I wouldn't enjoy on a real Spider-Man suit. I just think at that point you should have just stuck with the original. I feel like I feel like this new belt isn't good enough to warrant changing the original. No offense. Uh, but other than that, I quite enjoy it as sort of like a Ditko-inspired classic suit. The logo work is good. I enjoy the logo work very much, especially the one on the back. But other than that, just change the belt back and you've got a good design on your hands. Now this design. This design is one of my favorites in this whole video. This one is cool. I like the yellow and black. This was a great color choice for Spider-Man. I very much enjoy this sort of slightly simple but modern redesign. I like it. I like the hood. I like everything about it. The only thing I would change is that, you know, I would, I would get rid of the yellow border, or I would get rid of the white elements on the boots. I don't know. I think you can either take them or leave them due to the white logo, but I think I would experiment with what they look like without the white logo, or without the white bordering. I also like how he looks without the mask. I love that he has black hair and yellow pupils. It's a very nice touch. It makes the costume feel more like it's part of him, which I really kind of enjoy. I like that he looks like... He looks like he should be wearing this costume, which is cool. Alright, we're getting to the last two designs here. This is Cobweb. I like him. He's a big, buff man. I mean this in the nicest way possible, but he looks like a grown-ass man in a little baby Spider-Man outfit. I don't really have much to say about it. I like it. I think if you don't like this costume, then you can't really claim to like the homemade suit from Spider-Man Homecoming, but this is cool. I, I, I don't have any problems with it. I enjoy it. I like how buff he is. I don't know how I feel about it design-wise, because it doesn't really feel like much of a design. It just feels like a thrown-together outfit. But do I like it? Yeah, I, I, I do. I like the big buff baby man. All right, so this design is gonna be ending off the video. Right off the bat, I think the boots are way too short. I know over here there's webbing on them, but I think just just to confuse me a little less, I'd appreciate if there was webbing on the, uh, on the boots. As you can see, the arms here have this much red. Now, go over to the boots, not a lot of red. There should be an equal amount of red on the forearms as there are on the boots. And I feel like making that equal proportioning is what makes a Spider-Man suit a good Spider-Man suit. I do like the, the gray sort of fingerless gloves thing he's got going on. I do recommend adding that into the boot design 
So for example, if you did something like this with the, with the boots, where you gave him the full boot, and then maybe give him like an ankle cufflet here, like that, I feel like that would be cool. This suit also suffers from logo reusage. Uh, I would definitely be careful reusing logos from popular Spider-Man properties, like for example the PS4 Spider-Man suit. I would definitely recommend remaking your logo or finding a new one. I also don't think these logos have a lot of synergy together. I feel like you should definitely replace each of them for a new one. Uh, I also think the web pattern could be a bit worked on. I also I don't enjoy that the horizontal webbing st stops at the torso. I feel like this is one of those designs that doesn't really improve upon the classic suit enough. It's like people say, if it's not broken, don't fix it. And I think this design sadly kind of suffers from breaking that philosophy a little bit.